Hey guys, how are you? It's Danielle Nicole. I hope you all are doing good. It's Monday about six o'clock. Just got home from work a little bit ago. I'm so tired I could barely even speak. Um, recuperated from my daughter's birthday party this weekend and back to work today and now it's back to reality, back to a routine. And as tired as I am, I am going to be making spaghetti in the Instapot today. There's my new Instapot. I'll turn you guys around in a second. But I promised many of you that I would do an Instapot recipe. And I made this spaghetti about a week ago for the first time. It was the first time I used my Instapot. And it was super easy. I figured it out on my own. Um, it's. I just want to show you guys it's nothing to be scared of. Start with something simple like this. At least I think this is kind of simple. And, and I was totally terrified. Um, it's easy. It takes few ingredients. And you'll have dinner done. I think it from start to finish, it was like 30 minutes. All in one pot, no mess, no fuss, super easy. Some turkey in it, it's uh, flavorful. When you make it in the Instapot, it makes all the, all the flavors go right directly into the pasta like you would get at a restaurant. It's super flavorful and filling, and you can have like a little salad or a frozen vegetable, something low point or zero points with it, um, but a great way to have spaghetti. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's super easy, and bear with me being a, looking a little tight today um, so I'm gonna turn you around and we're gonna get started all right here's the recipe it is from skinny taste and it's very simple as you can see very few ingredients let's go through them real quickly and then we'll hit the saute button and just go step by step and show you how easy this is so you're gonna need some garlic um, it says to use a, a brand of a jar sauce called Delalo d-e-l-a-l-l-o tomato basil pomodoro sauce I almost bought it, but it was $6 a jar, and I said, forget that, that's too crazy. I love my Prego. I usually buy the Prego with mushrooms. So today, to be Weight Watchers friendly, I'm trying to be a good girl, I got the Prego no sugar added. You're gonna use one jar of this, two cups of water, ground turkey, the 93% lean, and then here's some gluten-free pasta, and we're going to be using eight ounces. This is 12 ounces in this box some onions, I think it's a fourth a cup of onions. I'm gonna be adding basil because I like to flavor up my food and some salt and pepper and there's my coffee, but it's decaf, otherwise I'll be up all night. So there is what you're gonna need. That's not scary, right? That's easy. Let's go over to the Instapot and we are going to hit the saute button. So you're gonna push that on. This is Instapot Duo Plus. My husband got it for Christmas and we're gonna Start getting the pan just warmed up a little bit. As soon as that is warming up a little bit, see it just turned on, starting to warm up. We're gonna add the ground turkey, salt and pepper, and start sauteing it right in here. So I'm gonna let this warm up, and then we're gonna get sauteing. Okay, I threw the ground turkey in, and I've added salt and pepper. Pepper is not on the ingredients list, but I love pepper and everything. So I added some salt and some pepper. And you're just going to break up your meat as if you were doing this on the stove. Hopefully you can see this pretty good. Here's the steam coming. I'm going to use my little handy dandy ground meat breaker upper. And I'm going to break this up and saute it and get it nice and browned. And then I'll show you the next step. Hopefully you guys can see in there good. Just the ground turkey, salt and pepper so far. And we're on the saute mode. All right. We're following along. This is easy, isn't it? All right. The ground turkey is nice and browned up. <clears throat> looking really good and nice and now we're going to add the garlic just a little bit of garlic it's going to squeeze a little in there like that we're going to add our onions and it doesn't call for this but i always add basil and you can add a little oregano season as you like as i always say i like a lot of basil what, what's can't go wrong with basil right so there is that and i'm going to continue sauteing all of this and warm it through and then I'll show you the next step we're literally almost done I'm not even kidding all right I weighed out my gluten-free pasta to eight ounces it was 12 ounces in the box so there's our eight ounces all precise okay the next step is to add the spaghetti sauce so I've got my Prego no sugar added they're pushing for you to use this sauce because this um, company made up this recipe so there's get all the little bits out you don't want to waste your money there's that and then we're going to add the two cups of water. There's two cups of water. Throw that in like so. And next we're going to put in the spaghetti. I'm just going to put down the camera for a second, break it in half, and throw in the spaghetti. And I'll show you how I do that. Okay, I've got everything in. And now it says not to stir it, but you want to make sure that all of the spaghetti 
is covered up in liquid, which it is. So you're just pressing things down in there like so. We're gonna get our lid, put this on, seal it, and then we're gonna come over here. Oh, there goes my dryer, and it says cover and cook on high pressure nine minutes. So high pressure, let me see, normal. Oh, is it gonna go? I did this the other day. Come on, Danielle, you can do this. No pressure, right? It says normal. Nine minutes. Shoot. Am I forgetting how to put it on? How did I do it that day? I thought. One second. Let me double check something, guys. Okay. I figured out what to do, guys. You're supposed to go up to here to the pressure button and hit that. And then pressure level. I hit that. And now it says high. And we're going to go up to nine minutes. I put the plus sign up to nine and we let it do its thing. I told you this is the second time I'm using this, so I'm learning too. So my mistake was you have to hit pressure cook, make sure it says high, hit the button here to hit nine minutes, and there it goes. So we're gonna let it do its thing, and we wait for nine minutes, and it says um, F, cover and cook on high pressure, nine minutes, quick release so the pasta doesn't continue cooking, and serve top with grated cheese. So I will show you the end. So not too scary, right? Sometimes you gotta sit here and think, um, or check the directions, but I figured it out in no time. I just had to stop here and read the buttons. So spaghetti's coming soon. All right, it's been cooking for nine minutes. Now what you wanna do is make sure that your pressure cooker is not right underneath cabinetry because we're going to hit the quick release button and all kinds of steam is gonna start flying out. So um, I'm on my island as you can see, but the light is sorta of far away. We should be safe. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take this little plastic thingy over here and I think, I'm, I hope I'm doing this right, guys. I've only done this once. You hit this button to quick release. There it goes, and all of the steam, and make sure I put it down good enough. All the steam is coming out of there. And then I'll show you the next step. It's just getting all the steam out so it doesn't continue to cook and overcook. The pasta, we're going to have spaghetti in just a few minutes, and now it's on warm. It's on two minutes of warm. It's just keeping warm. I'll show you the next step. All right, all the steam is out. Everything looks safe. I'm going to turn the lid. Hear the little ding-ding-dings. And there we go. Let me get this lid off. Put this over here. And here's inside our pot. And it's going to look very liquidy. Do not be afraid. You're just going to kind of break up this pasta a little bit, stir things around nicely and then i just let it sit for a few minutes that way the rest of the liquids gets incorporated in the pasta but look how beautiful that is when i made this with regular pasta last weekend it was beautiful it was el dante it wasn't overcooked it wasn't undercooked just break up some of the pastas that are kind of sticking together this is my first time using gluten-free i wanted to follow the recipe exactly for you guys um but look at all of that meat in there and the basil gives it some color, gives it some greenery. So that is that. I'm gonna let this sit for a few minutes to kind of come together so all the liquid kind of, um, you know, just the sauce thickens a little bit. So this is a very hearty meat sauce pasta you can have in under a half hour. If you get good at it and you just know how to hit the buttons, it's gonna be even quicker. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was my first Instapot video, so I'm learning as I go, um, but this was really, really easy. You kind of got to work through it when you first get using Instapot, but I just hope I showed you. There's the pasta. Look how beautiful that looks. I'm just letting it thicken up a little bit. It's five servings, and there's a lot of ground turkey in it. It's a very hearty, hearty dish, so it's 11 points, which I know is not low in points, but you're getting spaghetti. You're getting nice ground turkey. And it's just a hearty, nice winter dinner that you can make at home. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, comment below. Please subscribe if you're new here. I'd love to have you part of my YouTube family. Um, I follow the Weight Watchers or WW Green Plan. I weigh in every Saturday. I had a YouTube channel for over a year. I ended up taking it down because I got so busy with life. And I've just restarted my channel 
about two weeks ago and I have um, a little over 200 subscribers. So happy to have um, so many of you back and some new people join me. So you guys have a great week and um, if you want to see more videos like this, give me a thumbs up and comment below and I'd be happy to make you guys some more easy and fun recipes. There's our spaghetti. I hope you guys enjoy this. Take care. See you soon. Bye.